In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install XAMPP on your macOS device. The first thing that you need to do is go to the browser and search for install XAMPP. And then simply click on the first page showing up. After that, you go to the section where you can install XAMPP for OS. And we're going to install the latest version of it, which is the 8.2, click on download, and we're going to wait till we can download the exam. So if it doesn't work, simply go back and try again. So now it works, we are installing a DMG file. So once we are done installing it, we're gonna click on it. And then we will get a small window pop up. So I'm just gonna minimize the Chrome here. And now I'm gonna right click on it and click on open. And if you get this, just click on cancel and try it again. Click on open. And then write down your Mac OS user password. So once you have done that, a setup menu will open, so I'm going to drag it over here. Then all you need to do is click on next, again, next, and then we'll wait for XAMPP um, to install the, the files. Once you are done, just click on finish. Then you will get a localhost website launching on your um, Chrome and your Safari as well. So I'm going to minimize that. And I'm going to drag the application manager to my desktop. So right, right here we have a managed servers. So here we can start our Apache web server. I'm going to click on that. So for some reason it's not working for me, so I'm just going to go to the application. And then I'm going to try to get the servers to run. The reason why this is not working is maybe because we don't have the administrator rights. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it with the terminal. I'm going to try to start the service using the sudo keyword. And then I'm going to type the directory where we can find the Apache server. So this is going to be application, XAMPP, XAMPP files, bin, and then the Apache CTL. Then I'm going to write start. I'm going to click on that. Then you will have to write down your uh, Mac user password. So once you have done that, I'm going to check it if it has started. Try it again. I'm going to try, and uh, now it works, right. So now I'm going to minimize the terminal. And to check whether the application really works, I'm going to go to the application folder, AC docs, and I'm going to create a new PHP file. This is going to be named um, hello.php. I'm going to drag it over here, and then I'm going to open it with Visual Studio Code. Inside the PHP tags, I'm going to echo out hello world. And I'm going to save that and I'm going to go to the browser. Localhost, 
slash hello.php and we will get this hello world message printed out in our browser. So that is how you can install XAMPP on your Mac device. Thanks for watching.